Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and we have the story of Gauss. If you don't know who Carl Friedrich Gauss is, he's one of the most important mathematicians of all time. And there's a story that comes around when he was in elementary school and his teacher gave him this problem. Add all the digits from one to a hundred. And the teachers thought the students could just sit there and do some busy work. Very quickly, Goss came up with a solution and the teacher didn't trust him right off the bat. And then she checked his answer at the end and it was correct. And she wondered how did he solve this so quickly. So I want to pause this, or I want you to pause this video here and see if you can solve this problem very quickly. Hopefully you've gotten an answer here and I'm gonna show you how Goss did it. When we notice here, we have one plus two plus three plus four all the way to a hundred. What do you decide? Let's flip that around. Put a hundred here. It's the same thing, plus 99, plus 98, plus 97, plus dot, 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 all the way down to a uh, <clears throat> four plus three plus two plus one. And then I did this, added vertically here. So what's the sum of both of those together? Well, we notice here that one plus 100 is well, a 101. Two plus 99 is also a 101. And three plus 98 is also a 101. And you get the gist, right? 101 here. And we have 101 plus 101 plus 101 plus 101. And then he noticed, well, there's a hundred of these 100 and ones. So he said, okay, what's 100 times 101? That's an easy problem to solve, 10,100. But there's two of them, right? We had the sum of the first, sum 100 digits, and again, reversely, gave us 1,100. Uh, 1,100. He then said, let's go divide that by two, and got 5,050. And very quickly, you can get the answer of 5,050. Now, this is actually a pretty neat thing with, if you know anything about that, this series here of adding the sum of any consecutive numbers. What we have here, if we have n plus, or sorry, <laughs> n, n times, right, times an n plus one over two, we get the same answer. Okay, we have n, say if we want to add the numbers from 1 to 100, that would be our n value here, 100, times 100 plus 1, 101, divided by 2. And this sum of series here uh, is used a lot in mathematics if you get there. So I hope you like the story of Gauss, and did you get the answer that quickly? Did you know it of 5050? Let me know down in the comment section below. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and liking the video. This helps us make more of these fun math videos. So, as always, thanks for watching.